Blessed be the man that spares these stones, and cursed be he that moves my bones. Once a year, Bell Shakespeare's rehearsal room in Sydney fills with a select group of English and drama teachers from across Australia. And the idea that you could pretend to be somebody else. They're taking part in the four-day regional teacher mentorship, where they learn how to make Shakespeare engaging for their students back home. Now, let's set the scene a little bit. So maybe I could get Christy and Kate to come into the middle here. Everybody else can put their books down for a second. I'm still fairly new to the teaching game. This is my third year teaching. I've never actually taught Shakespeare before. You're heavy as lead, so you're super slow motion, but you want to land a punch on your opponent opposite you. And freeze! Good. Beautiful. Um, so gallop at pace. I want everybody to, in your own time, when I say it, mount your horses and gallop around the space, as if you're on a horse. Gallop at pace! I'm hoping that this is going to give me tools to create something that's going to be really engaging for these guys. You know, I don't want to sit down and read the script. I want to get up and I want to act it out. Thou art a goatish, flapped mouth flirt girl. <laughs> I would love down the track to be able to put on a Shakespeare production, you know, but I think they really need to have that understanding of the language for them to be able to do that. And I would love to see their confidence in themselves being like, yeah, I can do Shakespeare. And to do that for an audience would just be, yeah. Darwin's such a multicultural place. It's a really inclusive community. Our school community exists of about 970 students at the moment, so it's, it's quite a large school in the Territory. It's a really interesting population. Being in a remote area, even though it's Darwin, these opportunities don't come along very often for our staff, so it brings a whole lot of set of new skills into our curriculum. I've got a really great bunch of kids this semester performing a very short version of Macbeth. I just want to mark the role really quickly. Very, very quickly. Rio, how are you feeling out of 10 today? Ten. One of the great things about teaching here is the variety of students you get. We have a lot of students speak English as a second or third language, so sometimes the literacy levels um, are quite varied, um, which brings on its own challenges. Arms, arms and out! My name is Rio May. My role is Banquo. Macduff seeks to destroy Macbeth in order to bring justice to his family. For me, Banquo is strong, Amb ambitious, bold, and curious, very curious. If you can look into the seeds of time and say which grain will grow and which will not. Hi, I'm Prudo, and, <laughs> and I'm from the Tiwi Island, and I play Fleance, the um, son of Banquo. This is the first time I've learned Shakespeare. I am nervous and terrified. How are we all? Feeling. Who's super excited? Yeah. Yeah. I'm super nervous. Who's nervous? Me. Yeah. 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 Shakespeare is not easy, so I really want you guys to be proud of what we've done so far. I know at the beginning of the term, a few of you were kind of going, I "Don't really like Shakespeare. Um, I don't understand the language." Have I changed any minds? Just because the language is different doesn't mean it's any less fun. Yeah, that's really yeah. great to hear. Yeah. Have you got a favourite word? Death. Death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the character I'm playing is Macbeth. Um, he's psychotic, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps straight to killing as soon as he has, hears the prophecy, so he definitely has to have some sort of mental <laughs> dysfunction. Gallop a pace. I think using those activities we got from the mentorship has been really helpful to allow students to kind of slowly enter the world of Shakespeare, just doing little bits at a time. They can kind of see the visual of what Shakespeare looks like. I was thinking we could do This Is Thine. Do you remember that? Aww. So, yeah, yeah. This is Thine Umbrella. This is Thine Scrunchie. Ferris Fowl and Fowl is there. What blame man is this? A drama drama oh. dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Well done.
we have an hour left of class. I think now is a really good time to head down into the gym and have our final rehearsal. A bit louder, Kalia. I can barely hear These you. deeds must not be thought after these ways. Will all great Neptune's oceans wash this blood clean from my hands? I think there's definitely um, a mix of emotions. I think some are quite excited to be performing, um, but I know I definitely have a lot that are feeling nervous. For some of these guys, it might even be their first time performing, and they're performing Shakespeare. Beware, Mcduff. Beware the Thane of Fife. Uh, I hope they don't muck up any of my lines or miss lines, and not speak very fast, because I have a tendency to do that when I'm nervous. Yeah. Hail King of Scotland! Hail King of Scotland! And we've just had our last rehearsal before the performance tonight and I think they did really, really well, really getting into character and I can see that they're really starting to have fun with it. So I'm really excited to see how things go tonight. a story about Macbeth and his bloody journey towards the crown and all the mistakes he makes on his way to the throne. Will all great Neptune's oceans wash this blood clean from my hand? Oh, treachery! Fly, good Fleans! Fly, fly, fly! He becomes king. He kills Banquo. They slowly go crazier. A battle happens. A curse be the tongue that tells me so. Um, he kills quite a lot of people to get there. He kills the current king to be king himself, and then he just gets hungry with power, and that is um, his own downfall. These are the moments that make you proud to be a principal of the school, so it was really well done, really exciting, and I actually think it's probably the best one I've seen so far in the last 14 years. There's very few mock-ups that I noticed, so I'm happy with how we went. It was nerve-wracking. But as I kept on going along and getting my lines read, it felt amazing. After performing, I feel relieved. Like, I have this stored up energy from, you know, the nervousness, and I'm like, oh, I want to jump. <laughs> and I think it went really, really well. I'm really, really proud of them, yeah. <laughs>